welcome back guys this is unfinished the only place where we get to finish unfinished matters i am your host sk gitunga do not forget to follow me on all social media platforms today we're talking about increase in fuel price and high cost of living which takes us to our next question how has the increase in fuel price affected you let me know what you think in the comment section at y254 hashtag unfinished Increase in prices of stuff. Apo sasa ndo ime nigonga. But in terms of transport, hii ni nigonga kitambo sikuzi hata situmi yagi transport. Natembea tu from where you need to go. Ivo tu. Yeah. So, Ivo tu, prices tu ndo zimepanda. Life size nina kaa kaa expensive zaidi. Like, sasa inafika to the point that it's up to an individual. A figure out venye ye mwenyewe ata increase in kami yake. Mtu wa hizi endelea na the same income na nobody is willing to pay more for service ama to add additional pay to what they used to pay. I have to track. There is an increase in transportation fee and all that affair that is. So if I'm living in Mbakasi, so nimekuwa nimezoea 40 bob, 30 bob rushing hour sasa inaambiwa 8 bob so na ni, na budget yangu inasoma 40 bob or 50 at most so i have to trek to some distance so ndio ni ni at 30 bob so price ya fuel imeni affect so na style ku learn how to trek another uh, at a sign nikikuja hivi kutoka kwa nyumba like nalipanga 50 shillings but nimelipa so so no, like budget inabidi muongeza juu kidogo. Zenye nimekuambia tu manze umetiki kama saa hii nime track unaona imeni affect manze saa sisi panda gari kukuza hapa hivi kwa sababu hiyo ndio ya kupandia gari naona badala ya kutumia kupanda gari at least niweke niende ni buy nayo unga pale mtaani. Imeni affect ndio nimekuwa nikitembea tembea like kwanza saa hii niko attachment I'm a student niko attachment na naishi mta za nini at river so by the time na move from at river kukuja hapa feel utapata imepa imepanda si venye tulikuwa tunafaa kulipa hapo kitambo na pia as a student nitakuwa na shida mingi kukubwa sana juu mimi natengemea kupe kupewa na mzazi nafaa nimwambie mamu nataka kwenda attachment nitafutie do nikimuitisha extra cost kuliko yenye alikuwa ananipea hapo kitambo atakuwa na ile atakuwa anaona ni kama namnyang'anya so watu wako tunaweza sikizana mimi na yeye not really that much but it has affected so many people are talking about the fair prices the high cost of living and all that it's a bit loading it's a bit uh, exhausting but I believe soon, as the president promised, things will work out. Just let's believe in his word and everything will work out. The cost of the fare has increased as a student, which is not considerable for me, because as someone who is commuting from home to school, that is expensive for us. So like, um, I think it has affected us negatively. Kama nilivu gwambia imeniasili Yapokuwa ni seme naweza nikakaa mwezi sijapanda gari. Si ndio? Naweza nikakaa miezi miwili sijapanda hilo gari. Lakini nitakula. Hicho chakula kimebebwa na, na na chuma chombo ya moto. Umeona? Kama alikuwa anachukua na ulia, yani akipandisha kule na wewe ndo unakuja kunapandishiwa huko. As a student, I'm broke. That's that's all I can say. <laughs> yeah. As a student, it, it definitely does me because prices or like, what's it called, fare is increasing. Generally, things in the market increasing. I think it's affecting everyone. Um, I don't have a car, but I buy other commodities. And uh, as I said before, in increase of fuel means increase of transport, even for public services. And uh, it's hard considering I don't have a stable source of income, so the fluctuating, the going high all the time is making it hard to afford most of the things that I would afford last year. I would afford them easily then. Now I have to cancel out and say it's not a necessity anymore so I can continue living. At the moment, not really. 
because uh, I live in town and I have uh, my business in town. But um, I expect that in the coming, coming next maybe 10 or 14 days, all the public institutions, what means matatus, buses, shuttles, they will increase the price. And then for sure it will infect my, my um, life. Or when I say, um, when my, my house girl might not have the money to come to the, to, to the job, then it infects my, my personal life. Actually, the increase in it, it affects everything. For instance, uh, the the prices of commodities, everything goes up. Even uh, salary goes down because of taxation and all those things. And so it affects everything. Yeah. So yeah. transport, uh, food, everything. Yeah. Personally, I've been affected uh, uh, majorly on the commuter rather the transporter, uh, where we we used to pay 50 bob. Now we are paying at 100. Uh, so personally, I've been affected by some of these uh, service, uh, transport service uh, here in town. They have raised their prices. Personally, I feel so bad because I can't even drive anymore. I am forced to park my jeep. But seriously though, uh, let's say for me, because we're talking about personal issues, right? It hasn't hit me that much, but I feel for the people who had a hard time initially coming up with that transport, people who have small businesses, people who eat from hand to mouth, it must really be a burden for them. And if something can be done, I hope the government does actually intervene. Which takes us to our last question. Do you think high cost of fuel actually affects the cost of living? Let me know what you think in the comment section at Y254 and finished. You know these things like food, anything too needs transport. So the moment fuel increases, uh, those people who are transporting they need to add more money. So they charge those people who are uh, transporting their goods and food stuff more money. So same a supplier is charged more money to transport. That supplier will charge their product more, more. So that increase you could charge more, could charge more. It uh, ended down to the knee the like the level ya chini kabisa it affect like everyone in fact when you are always affected sana ni those people who have enough but the one who are serving like day by day au sasa ndo wanakipata na hiyo prices the product the commodities may hike okay transportation somebody has to income more compared to previous days so for instance 100 bob sa hiyo is fanya kitu hata a court, okay, let's say in the corner, one kg of hunger. But sasa waki later, labda waki reduce price of fuel, kumanisha product, price of this product appears to reduce kidogo. So, living standard peer ita, ita kuwa monitored at least to some degree. Yeah, the price of fuel, the hiking, it may hike peer, maisha. Uh, the, same, the same to be in the same one, in, 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 like mtu atafikiria kununua food ama utafikiria oh kesho ni kitu kwa nyumba na fa nilipe hii amount ndio niende unajua like kutafuta pesa lazima move from one point to another so na hii fuel ukiwa maybe same uko na personal car uko na mtu wa pikipiki wote wako affected no no you lazima lazima tutembee wezi wezi tengeneza pesa ukiwa from one point Mimi najua fuel ikipanda kila kitu inapanda kwa sababu fuel ndio inaleta unga pale mtaani fuel ndio inaleta bado hizi mavazi nini nini so ule mse wa 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 tuseme wa mirama msaya anauza mamboga lazima atumie gari kusafirisha hiyo mboga yake kutoka kwa shamba mpaka kwa market eh yeah. ina affect kila mse ime affect sana ju ukiangalia mafuta nini cost ya living yani mafuta ndo kila kitu saa hii ndo inatumika ku transport all foods food yenye tunatengenezewa kwa kambuni inatumika mafuta kwa gari na yako kwa gari na transport from one place to another so pia bei ya hiyo living ya hiyo unga pia itabidi imekuwa juu kuliko venye ilikuwa sasa itaenda juu juu tena Aya, utapata kama ni import imeimportiwa kutoka ni kitu ilikuwa inachukuliwa port gari yenyewe inafaa ichukue lazima itumie mafuta kama ilikuwa inatumia mafuta ya tentao 
sasa naona itatumia 15 18000 hapo hivyo ndio ifikishe mzigo wa mali nafa so ime affect sana pia hiyo saidia nini life it is affected cuz when when the fuel is high everything goes high cuz it affects everything in the shops at home the little basic things that we buy fuel affects everything so the families who are living with 50 shillings in a day they have to pull up you see it has affected but i believe as kenyans when we believe with our leadership and our president things will work but when we put fingers nothing will work because you're the ones to work not the president it's us it has increased the cost of living cause um, for example when you are traveling or you are moving products from this place to the other place obviously if the fuel prices have increased that means that the cost of moving the products from one place to the other has has increased so like uh, if you increase the cost of moving the product from one place to the other obviously the product will increase the price me asili mno sio kidogo sababu unaweza kawa kipato chako wewe mafu yani bidhaa upanda lakini mshahara upandagi unajua bidhaa una bidhaa inapanda lakini mshahara upandi sababu bado hujasilika <laughs> umeasilika pakubwa mno it has obviously made it gone higher hence more difficult for the kenyans especially the mwananchi you know there's kenyans the rich ones they the ones who almost own the government and then there's kenyans the people who vote and who actually suffer from the going up and down i think it's it's making it hard for the normal mwananchi to survive in this time many people are opting to go to the countryside because they will survive better there but the jobs are in the urban centers so it's a fight do i stay here and work or do i go there and survive so. uh, definitely in in many ways because all the people who are supplying uh, uh, commodities to the supermarkets to the markets and so they will increase their their commodities they will increase their 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 uh, uh, product what they sell so it will reflect definitely negative on the pricing in the supermarkets in the markets and uh, even the hookah on the streets they cannot keep the prices in the way they had it in the past it has actually affected the cost of living fuel um it's like energy if you control energy you are controlling everything right we control energy and power and food like you literally control everything so it has affected like uh, everything if energy goes the cost for energy goes up everything goes up as everyone knows uh, petroleum rather the oil is everything when the prices of uh, petroleum goes up everything will automatically goes up because uh, petrol uh, or the diesel or the maflata these things uh, the wananchi wanatumia uh, basically on their daily to day basis so when uh, prices may quite rise automatically other other products other goods will rise increase in fuel prices does affect the cost of living i may have mentioned earlier that we use uh, fuel every day in transportation of goods from one place to another this means from the farmer to the manufacturer to the retail shop to the consumer and by the time it gets to the consumer it's usually highly priced we have come to the end of the show thank you for watching i am your host eskigitonga see you next time